Hi there, it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. I'm a UK based independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you for joining me for another Top Tip Tuesday. And I mentioned this on a video that I shot, well, that I showed last Friday. Um, I actually shot it about a quarter of an hour ago. However, um, cleaning stamps. So I was having a particular problem with my stamps falling off the block. Now, the main reason for that was because they were dirty, um, but also because it's quite hot the day that I'm shooting this and very odd things are happening. But it reminded me that we have got the nice new stamp cleaning pad. And I think there, there may be a few people who aren't quite sure what this is all about. It's in the new annual catalogue. Um, and I will try and find it because it would have been useful if I had found it before I started shooting. Uh, stamp cleaning supplies 182. Okay, so it's on page 182 and it says keep your stamps, stamps clean and neat, removes classic stamping ink and craft stamping ink from photopolymer and rubber stamps. Um, cleaning solution refill available and sold separately. Uh, currently not in the UK, probably in other parts of the world, but um, in Europe we've got customs issues, so... Ah. Um, and it says, when using on cling stamps, rinse stamp with water immediately after using the product and um, to, sorry, to protect the adhesive on the cling label uh, and then to use stays-on cleaner to remove stays-on ink. So this is not for stays-on, this is for everything else. It comes quick, clear. Now, by clear, I mean it comes looking like um, this is a Versamark ink pad. But as you use it, it does stain. So I've got this stamp from the beautiful Friendship stamp set. And I'm going to rub it on this pad. And you just gently rub it. Now, there is an instruction sheet. It's not long, but I have kept it. Um, so it says, remove excess ink, then tap the stamp on your stamp cleaning pad, wipe stamp with a dry cloth. Um, and to avoid damaging photopolymer and cling stamps, use water to rinse the solution off. So you can see that my pad has now got an interesting shade of neon. Now, the stamp isn't clean clean, but it's cleaner than it was. Um, so this is just soapy water I've got in here. Um, so I'm cleaning my block at the same time. Now, of course, what I do need is some kitchen towel. So let's get a couple of sheets of that. Fortunately, I have some to hand. So let's put that lid back on for the moment. So this has now been rinsed. And I'm hoping you can see that although it's not clean, it's a lot better than it was. Um, so it's not quite as pink. Um, I'm going to show you some more so we can keep going and see what happens with some more. But it's definitely better than it was. Um, so I'm going to pop that back on its sheet. And I'm going to bring out this one next, actually. So this is one of the stamen. Um, and you can see it's very, very pink. Um, hopefully you can see just how pink it is. So again... Just rub it on the pad. It's not sticking terribly well to the block, but that's because the um, the back of the stamp is dirty. But can you see, although it's not completely clear, it's a lot better than it was. I do just want to get the edges. And then again, drop it in the water, clean it off. And we have a much cleaner stamp. So if I balance that back on that block, can you see just how amazing that is? And the pink dye from some of our stamps, from our, some of our inks, does really stain. So let me just move that a bit more. Um, I've got the really big one. Now for this one, I'm going to clean half of it and just show you what happens. So I'm going to do it upside down. Do the edges as well and get it into the 
into the edges or the, the depths of the pad, the stamp rather. So can you see just how different one half is to the other? And what I'm probably going to do is actually not clean the other half so that I can show you a photo um, on my blog, which I will sh have linked below in the description bar, so you can see just how amazing this product is. Because that is just, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Look at the difference. Not cleaned, cleaned. Now I have got to get those edges, which hopefully I'll do before I shoot the photos, but just amazing. And all from this. Now it does actually get lighter as you kept it, as you keep it. Um, when I used this last, it was absolutely neon pink, um, and it's it faded. So yeah, I have no idea what's in it. I mean, there's past me that really doesn't want to know, um, but. And I am keeping the instructions because I think it's useful just to have a reminder of um, how to how to clean uh, and that you do need to be careful with your cling and your photopolymer. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Highly recommend this if you like your stamps to be not quite as fluorescent pink as they currently are. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, if you don't already subscribe, if you hit the bottom right hand corner, there's a little subscribe button um, and you get to see all my other videos. I do a top tip every Tuesday. So something, sometimes they're old things that we all know, but we forget. Um, so yeah, it would be great for you to subscribe and then you can see all my videos as they go live. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I will list the stamping pad in the description bar below. Um, and if you need any supplies, if you are in the UK, I would be honoured if you would shop with me. Um, I try to look after my customers well, and um, I would love to be able to show you just how much I do really prize my lovely customers. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, I can't remember if I said give it a thumbs up, but if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, you can leave them below, or if it's a longer comment, hop over to my website and you'll find my email address. Um, there is a link to it below, but to my email address below, but you can hop over to my website and you'll find it there. And I think that's enough babble from me. Thank you very much indeed for watching.